Hello, there's plenty of time for shaving later. Right now I have a midnight pumpkin to take apart, and then I have some touring cars to watch. So let's just crack on with it. Today I'm going to take, uh, should I use this? Oh, I'll just use this, see, see if I can. Uh, today I'm taking the uh, midnight pumpkin, not entirely to pieces, but I'm getting into the guts of it mostly. Um, so I can strip it out and lay the screws out for Q rusting. I don't actually have any Q rust at the moment, so I'll get some through the week. Wow, look at the state of that. Um, but I'll also be able to get into the gearbox and see what the condition is, give it a crease up. Just make a start, basically. Just make a start of this. Rachel gave me a row for calling it uh, neglected. She said, it's not neglected, it's not neglected. I'm like, well, how do you explain the fact that it's in a completely neglected state and the fact that you haven't used it for six years and the fact that it's been up in a damp loft while filthy with gravel since pretty, was uh, pretty neglected to me. But uh, apparently it's not neglected. It's neglected. Right. Now these are out of the way. I do want to take the steering assembly apart. Oh, there's the flower shaped bits. I always refer to them as flower shaped. It's like the, the uh, instead of hexes, you get these funny shaped bits. Uh, right. Which, which means you can't put standardised wheels and tyres on a lunchbox or a midnight pumpkin. Um, I'm sure there's, there must be adapters. I'm sure there's converters for it. But anyway, um, let's just take the steering assembly apart first of all. Because uh, I want to get in at these arms. I wanted to get in at the servo saver because I think it feels a bit loose. But it, it might also be the fact that the servo is sort of gritty and gravelly and slightly corroded inside. It doesn't feel particularly good. Don't get me wrong, this is not going to be a, a shelf or worthy mid-dent pumpkin. This is definitely going to be far from it. Um, there will still be slightly corroded looking screws and say, let's have a look at this. Yeah, the servo saver is completely loose. I'll leave the servo in, but oh, The hex screw on the servo saver seems rounded. I hope it's not too rounded. Which size is that? Maybe. Might be okay. Wait, stay still, servo. Stay still, servo. Right. Nope. Well, I can get a purchase. Leave it back. Okay. How does that feel? It's definitely a lot tighter. I'm not sure if it's entirely there yet. Try to nip it up one more time. Nothing worse than a loose servo saver, it's horrific. Try to steer a truck and it's just opening up and you get understeer. Or no steering in some cases. Corrali Triton. And also FTX Comet. Right. That should be okay. We just put these screws back in again. Um, these ones are actually not too bad. I won't need any Q rust on these. These haven't rusted at all. I think they might be. I don't think they're stainless. I certainly don't think they're stainless, but they seem. Ah, they're a wee bit rusty. So they're definitely mild steel, but um, I've got away with the majority of it. Some of these screws are absolutely goosed. None more so than the ones holding on the uh, the power switch. The ones holding on the power switch are just need to be trimmed, drilled out, completely ruined. Right. Do I have servo? Doesn't feel good. I mean, we'll test it. We'll test it when the electronics are all ready, and see if it has any any life in it. What I wanted to do, I mean, the screw is holding the top of the shock absorber on. I don't know if you can see that the screw in there holding the shock absorber on is it's pretty horrible as well. Um, on both sides, the shock's actually spinning. Loose when like that one's spinning, I can rotate it because um, it needs tightened up, but I can't get in at it 
really. Um, maybe take the shocks off. Possibly. Yeah, why not? We'll take the shocks off. Take the brace off first. Do a proper job of it, eh? No point in half arsing it. Strut brace or suspension mount brace. It's not, it's not really a. Well, I suppose you could call it a strut brace. Um, yeah, come on. Yeah, you can see the state of these um, washers. See that? You can see that. It's all rusty. Everything's everything's a bit past it, really. Sustained the plastic on the wow, look at that. Look at the knot on the back of the shock absorber there. Look at that at the bottom, completely rusty, completely, completely gone. But it might still be functional. I don't think it's rusted to the point it's all a rounded, corroded mess, but we'll see. Yeah. Look at that, rusty screw, rusty nut. Now I don't like mismatched screws or bolts or nuts there, so that one's red, the other one isn't, and the screw's different, that's a flat head, that's a, a button head screw, um, so I'm going to just change them as well when, I get, when it comes to reassembly. I'm not going to reassemble today, this is just a strip down. Yeah. This car isn't neglected right enough. Let me get another row. Don't care. Don't care. Again, you can even see on the bottom of the shock. See the, the plastic is stained with rust. That's come off the bottom of the spring. They don't look, the shocks actually don't look like they've, they've leaked at all. They don't feel like they've leaked. Although, unfortunately, the problem is it's very smooth when the first sort of range of motion, but just as you get towards the, the bottom, um, the bottom of the shock shaft has actually got rust on it. I don't think it's rusted itself, because I think that's stainless, but there's rust on it, and it's a bit rough. So, it's, it's actually improving as I work it, but we'll see what, I'll, we'll see what we can do with these shocks. They don't leak, uh, which is a good thing. Um, again, this one hasn't leaked as well. But the rusty shock shaft, yeah, it's clean enough as you work it. We'll see what we do with them. I'm not sure what we'll do with them yet. Now, what to do with the rear end here? I'll have to take the wheelie bar off and then see if I can pop the rear shocks off. It might be possible. The top of the top of the rear shocks look okay. One of the one of the washers is a bit rusty. You can see that the, the bottom one there, the center of your screen, just there. Um, it's a bit rusty, but the rest of it's okay. You can see the the mounts here, under here. They're actually all right. They're not bad at all. Um, they're actually quite clean looking. So I shouldn't need to take them off on this end. Pop them off on this, the bottom end, and then hopefully be able to. Well, I say hopefully be able to pop them off, um, and then disassemble the gearbox. Um, I think the first thing I'll do though is take off the wheelie bar. Is that a wheeling bar mod? So this bolt goes right the way through. So this has to come off as well. Yeah, I'll need two. Maybe we'll need two tools. Maybe not. Right. I think the I've taken off the nut from this side of the the mount for the wheelie bar, but it looks like the bolt is actually no longer straight. I think it's going to a point where I can't push it through again. So I might need a, a persuader of some sort, oops. Maybe a hammer or a, or maybe an adjustable wrench or something to squeeze it, we'll see. Try the wrench first. Okay, did that work? I think it might have. To a point, <laughs> come on. Well, it might work. Oh, come on, you bitch. Oh. 
Ooh, okay. Yeah, look at that. Definitely not putting that back in. Look at it. So that's knackered. I'll get a, this, this is obviously not a bolt. It's actually a, 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 I was going to say a threaded rod, but it's not threaded all the way along. It's threaded to the sort of, to this part and to this part. It's like a, the sort of thing you make up a camber link with. But it's completely, I mean, it's, it's, it's banana shaped. In fact, it's, more, it's, it's almost an S shape. So um, that's definitely not getting used again. Um, I'll have to use, find a bolt or a threaded rod to replace that with. Not an issue, not an issue, not a big deal. Um, but that's fine. That one is goosed. Goosed. Nattered. Okay, there's the wheelie bar of it. Put the screws back in so I know where they came from. Yeah, there's the wheelie bar. Simple design, perfectly effective. Right, where do we take this apart now? I think, I believe it's all on this side. There is something for there, but that, that one there is just the, there's a wee flap where you can oil the gearbox. But um, I want to take the whole thing apart and have a look inside and uh, evaluate. Because I don't use oil in these. These are really coarse. They're massive teeth on these ones, so I wouldn't use oil. I'd use grease for that. Um, let me just see if I can pop off the bottom of the shock absorbers here. It's too fat. Try this one. No, oh, come on. Come on. Don't break. Just pop off your thing. Yeah. Would you... Man, it's got a grip. Oh, I don't like that. Bending the shock at some ridiculous angle, but it still won't pop off. Yeah. The... See where the shock shaft goes into the bottom mount there. It's completely at an angle there. I don't... It's just plastic. I'm only pulling the threads through. Drat. How do I... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, I'll leave... Unless I need to, I'll leave that off. Because that's just... Asking to break it or... Oh, wait a minute. We need to... Separate the gearbox. I need to remove, remove more than I thought, don't I? Okay. Look at that. Now that screw. Jeez. Anyway. Right. This is all going to need a, a massive clean. Put them with that so I know where they came from. Put that aside. Oh, drat. Put that aside now. There we go. Um, so I need to separate the gearbox out that way, but I, I still think I need to remove that bottom shock mount. I'd rather not, but because it's it's honestly, it, I'm going to end up wrecking it. How do I. Hmm. Good. Ah! Yeah. Stupid hex thing again. Move the pin as well, in case I'll lose that. Right, okay, that's good. I've right, got that one removed. Now it shouldn't be too difficult to get into the gearbox. I believe these two here, one, two, might be the motor mount. Unless that's inside somewhere. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've taken one of these chassis apart. Last time I took one of these chassis apart, probably when I built this for Rachel all those years ago. Yeah, it is the motor mount. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. There, not Let's hold it on. Yes. What was that? That was the motor. The cap. The motor mount cap thing. Right. That's fine. Okay, let's have a look at this. Take your box out. Yeah. Oh. Uh, right. This is going to be awkward. Uh. 
Thank you. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's very dry. Thankfully, it looks like it's sealed. Yeah, you can see that, they're clean. So it has sealed, thank goodness. So there's no horribleness, but it is dried out. You can see the rem remnants of the old grease on this one. So I can pull this out. There we go. So you can see on the planetary gears there. Come on, focus. You can see there's lots of dried yellow grease there. So that's old and out of date. Um, but the gearbox is still fine. So I can grease that up when it comes to rebuilding the truck. And everything will be all right there. That's good. In fact, I might just grease it up now. I'm not going to reassemble the truck on this video. I'm going to do it the next time. This is this is a strip down, and I'm not finished. It, really, quite finished the strip down yet. But I don't really want the gearbox hanging open. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter too much. I'll put that there. Put the grease out already. It doesn't really matter. Does this one push out, or is there something stopping it? I can't remember. Can't remember. I'll leave that in. Yes, yeah, so we'll leave the gearbox exposed. It doesn't really matter. Oh, what's that? Drive pin again. So yeah, gearbox is fine. Nothing wrong with there. There's no, no stripped teeth or anything. It's nice and clean. There's no dirt getting in at all. Um, the last thing I want to do is uh, take off the body mounts. Um, I might actually take off the bottom plate. Yeah, I think I might. I think I might actually because I want to get in at everything I can. That's horrific. Is that still straight? Hope so. Right. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll, I'll take take this off again, and then I can get or at least take this one out, and then I can get off the bottom plate there, remove this, so this is all exposed. I can get in everything to give it a good clean, and then I can drill out the screws holding the switch on and then you know everything will be set for clean up and reassembly. If you're gonna recondition something, you might as well do it properly now. What I don't want to do is forget where these soft screws came from. Those two are from the gearbox mount for the gearbox itself. I won't put them in it because they're dirty. I'll put it beside it. They can stay out of the way. Actually, I don't need to take that one out, do I? No, I don't. We do that again. That's just the battery bar, but it's all one piece part of the bottom plate, so I don't actually need to remove that. That's fine. Good, 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 good. These two need to come out. Why weren't there two in there? There were two. This side, here. I mean, you, see, you probably can't see, it's quite dark now. Um, basically holding this thing on but this one on the corresponding the opposite side the corresponding one on the opposite side did I have screws in there I don't think it had screws in there why didn't I have screws in there maybe I've missed it now I'll rewatch the video and make sure I know this one is from there these two are from there so were there not two there? Are they underneath the kitchen roll? I don't know. I, I ooh, that's a bit weird. Anyway, we can put that right later on. This won't lift out quite yet. There's screw here, and you know what? To get at the last screw for the bottom plate, it's under there, so I will need to remove this. So these two at the front do need to come out. It's a learning process when you haven't built something for so long, you can't remember how it goes. Or maybe not learning, but re familiarizing yourself. Right, come on. Okay, no. so that there, that's for this as well. Put that aside. Those two are for here. Oh, yeah, I need to do that one last one. Are. 
the bottom plate out. Right there for the bottom plate. Yeah, you can see a good look at the switch there. See the rusty mess, those are actually bolts or screws. That won't move, the switch is completely solid, it's completely seized. That's completely gone. Now this should just pull out, yes it will, with a bit of persuasion. There it is, that's the second one. And I still don't know why there were no screws there. That is horrible, it's all gravelly and gritty and rusty and minging. Look, look at that. It's a rather nasty screw, isn't it? Pretty nasty. Considering I wasn't going to do a full strip down, this is a pretty full strip down. Oh well. Maybe I'm just enjoying myself. Um, now, does that just lift out or is there something else holding it in? Oh, that one at the front. Two behind it aren't holding it in, I don't think they're long enough. Doesn't look like it. Might be wrong, but it doesn't look like it. Wait a minute, that shouldn't matter. That shouldn't matter, what am I thinking? That was a bit of a brain fart there, that shouldn't matter, because I'm trying to separate this, oh, let's see if I can show you, this piece from the chassis. So if that's not coming out, there must be another screw, or it's just plugged in and corroded, and been there for so long it doesn't want to shift. What am I looking at? What am I think? What am I feeling here? Because, dude, does, does that screw in? I don't think so. It might do. No. 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 So those two don't don't reach through. That one is too far forward. So what is stopping this coming off now? Is it a slide fit? I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long. Ah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a screw heading underneath this. A screw heading underneath it. Tamiya is giving me the runaround. Go on. Get. Right. You. And you and you. Over there, with that, front bumper, out of the way, and there's the offending screw, right in here. Equally corroded. It's not really much, it's a funny looking chassis isn't it? It's not really much of a, well it's definitely not a traditional chassis, but it's not really a chassis in the sense that it doesn't have specific design for flex in the right areas or balance or center gravity or anything. It's just it's just a plastic piece that you can bolt things to, essentially. Okay. I'm wondering if this can push through anymore. I can't remember if that was a put I'm sure you just pushed it through because it's quite filthy as well. I'm hoping it's still true. It looks okay. Um but I'll leave that just now. I think I've got plenty of access to clean this thing up now. And I'll just take the body shell mounts off because these are some of the worst screws on the whole car. So they will definitely need treated with Q-Rust. I don't want to treat Q-Rust in situ because it damages plastic. I think it softens it, does it? I can't remember. I think it does. I think it softens it. So let's make sure it's completely clear of the vehicle. The vehicle. Oh, wow. Come on. There we go. This is one of the worst screws in the whole thing. Right, that. Pretty bad, isn't it? Right. Right, there we are. Strip down. Ooh. Yeah, horrible, 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 horrible. But anyway. It's ready to be cleaned up properly. I've given it already a, a quick clean, but now I can get in, in it everything. Cleaned up properly, re-greased, uh, Q-rusted screws, and then you can join me next time for a reassembly.
and hopefully it'll be running lovely and smooth and ready for electronics testing. Before we go though, let's have a quick look at the bottom of this motor. Uh, yeah, like I said, the motor's completely pitted and rusty now, isn't it? Pretty nasty looking, it looks like a, just an old, old motor. Ooh. I think I'll rebuild the motor as well. Let's have a look at the commutator. Decent condition. It's in decent condition, the commutator inside, where the, for you, those of you who don't know, in there where the brushes touch the side of it, the thing that they touch is the commutator. Um, looks okay, it's no pitting or anything, it's just a little bit discoloured from age and sitting around. So I think with use it will clean up, but it doesn't feel great, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, it, it just looks like a nasty old motor. It looks like something you find in the bottom of a toolbox or up in the loft after several years of being ignored. Um, it's probably the best motor I have for this application lying around. I don't have anything. You'd, you'd want to use something around about 27, 25, whatever. I'm using a, 25, a 27 in my truck, in my lunchbox, albeit a better one. Matthew's is using the uh, Tamiya Torque tuned, I think. Which I think it's a 25 turn in his one. I do have the motor that came with my white special TTO2, which I think might be, the, I can't remember which one it is, it might be the GT tuned, or sport, there's a few, there's sport tuned, torque tuned, DG, GT tuned, I think it's the GT, I'm not sure, I can't remember, it's 25 turn, but I might not use that, just purely because this is highly collectible and therefore valuable, and although I've chopped the posts, That'll damage the value a little bit. Um, if I ever came to sell it in a few years, every original piece unused in good condition, the better. So I might not use that more, so we'll see. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Now where did these two come from? If I find two screw holes, I wonder if, I wonder if those were the two. Hmm. Could be. I'm not going to assume. I'll just put them there just now. Right. I think it's from the gearbox. Whatever. I'll, I'll find a place for them. Anyway, join me next time for the reassembly. We'll just crack on and get this thing running right. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you there.